Printmaking, known as the democratic medium, revolutionized the dissemination of information through the mass production of images and text. Prior to the invention of printmaking methods, creating a reproduction meant painstakingly copying each image or word by hand. There are three main printing processes. Relief, intaglio, and planography, which includes lithography and screen printing. Each process has a unique mark or characteristic because of the way the matrix is created. The matrix is the block, plate, or surface from which the print is taken. These techniques can be used alone or in combination with one another to create the desired effects. Relief prints are made by carving away material from the matrix, often made of wood or linoleum, to create negative space around an image. The image area is on a higher plane than the negative space, making it possible to roll ink onto the surface using a hand roller or brayer. Once inked, the image can be printed using a printing press or rubbed by hand. Multiple blocks can be inked with different colors, each printed on top of the same piece of paper using a registration system to perfectly align the image. Intaglio is the umbrella term for a family of techniques that involve incising marks into metal plates, usually copper or zinc, or into an acrylic sheet. Intaglio comes from an Italian term meaning to cut into. The image area in the intaglio plate sits below the surface of the matrix, the opposite of relief printing. Marks can be made directly on the surface with several different techniques. The intaglio method called dry point involves pulling a burin, a needle-like tool, across the surface of the metal, making soft, fuzzy marks. Engravings are created by pushing a burin across the plate to remove thin metal ribbons. These lines are sharp and crisp. The mesotint matrix, most often a copper plate, is first systematically roughed up to create burrs with a sharp tool called a rocker. Next, areas are lightened by flattening or burnishing the burrs to create the image. The intaglio matrix can also be created by using an acid to make the incised marks. Etchings and aquatints are made using this method. Etching involves scratching through a wax-based ground that has been applied to the plate and then bathing it in acid. With aquatint, small dots made from powdered rosin, spray paint, or acrylic grounds are applied to the plate acting as a resist to the acid. When exposed to acid, these irregular dots help to create soft, continuous tones. To print intaglio, ink is applied to the surface using a squeegee-like card to push it into the crevices. The excess ink is wiped from the surface while making certain to preserve the ink in the image area. Once inked, the plate is transferred to the press bed where damp paper is aligned over the plate. The paper and plate are covered with special felt blankets and rolled under the press drum. Heavy pressure pushes the softened paper into the grooves on the plate and transfers the inked image. Lithography is derived from the Greek word for stone writing. Unlike relief or intaglio, lithography is printed from an entirely flat matrix. The surface is neither carved nor incised. It is a planographic method. Lithography is based on the simple principle that oil and water do not mix. Images are drawn or painted directly onto the stone matrix with an oily material, such as grease pencils. Then the stone is etched with gum arabic and nitric acid in order to make the negative areas attract water and repel the oil-based ink during printing. Today, aluminum, and light-sensitive plates are used as well as stones. Commercial or offset printing uses plates, not stones, but is based on similar principles. To print a lithograph, the image is first cleaned with solvent. 
The stone or plate is dampened with water and oil-based ink is rolled onto the surface. Anywhere the greasy drawing exists, the ink is accepted, while the water keeps the ink from sticking to the negative areas. Once fully inked, paper is put over the image area and covered with a thin tympan, a paper or plastic sheet that protects the back of the print. The stone, paper, and tympan are run through the press with a scraper bar that delivers pressure evenly across the flat plane of the matrix. Screen printing, also called silkscreen printing, is another planographic method. The matrix is made from a wood or metal frame stretched taut with fine meshed material, such as nylon or silk. Image areas are created with stencils or light-sensitive emulsion to mask out and prevent ink from traveling through the screen. A squeegee is used to force ink through the screen onto the surface. Silkscreen images are right reading as opposed to relief, intaglio, or lithography prints which all result in a mirror image of the matrix. In all of these processes, the image is printed from a fixed matrix. The same image can be printed again and again creating multiples because the matrix does not change. This group of identical prints is called an addition. Artists' proofs are sometimes printed to check consistency and are not considered part of the addition. Monoprints can be created using any print process, but are unique in the fact that only a single print is made. No two monoprints look alike. A monotype is also a unique image, but there is no fixed mark or matrix involved. The image is created by applying ink or another medium straight onto a flat sheet of acrylic, metal, or wood. Although a monotype can be layered and printed upon multiple times, only unique impressions can ever exist. They are truly one of a kind, much like a painting or a drawing. Because of the need for expensive equipment and specialized materials, printmakers often work in communal print shops. These collectives allow artists to learn from each other and share ideas and techniques. Printed materials create a sense of community, from newspapers and posters to books, t-shirts, and fine art etchings, printmaking is an essential part of our daily life.